voting today. Many voters here in the metro are mm. headed back to the polls one final time this year because it's runoff election day and several important local races still have to be decided. Not exciting, but these are really important that you need to know about. Atlanta News First, Rebecca Schramm is live. She's at a polling location in Atlanta. Rebecca, residents have to pick one final school board member. It's, uh, you know, maybe not an election that gets a lot of attention, but certainly important for families. Oh, absolutely. Gervier and Brooks, good morning to you. Yeah, there's an at-large school board seat that's available. And so folks here all across the city of Atlanta will be deciding who that person will be. I'm at the C.T. Martin Natatorium, which is uh, kind of slow right now, as you touched on. Seven o'clock this morning is when it opened. So just a few minutes ago is uh, when people were able to start casting ballots, although we haven't seen anybody just yet. For the at-large seat, incumbent Tamara Jones faces challenger Alfred Shivey Brooks. Now, the school board has a huge responsibility coming up. They're going to be selecting a new superintendent. Currently, there's an interim superintendent because the board last summer decided not to renew the contract of Dr. Lisa Herring. Another important race we're tracking is in the city of Brookhaven, where voters will pick a mayor to succeed John Ernst. There's also a city council race in Brookhaven that's in a runoff. And take a look. Besides the Atlanta school board races are a race and the Brookhaven races. Voters in several other communities are heading to the polls for municipal runoff elections today as well. They include voters in Doraville, East Point, Henry County, Roswell, Snellville, and the city of South Fulton. Polls uh, will close. They're scheduled to close at seven o'clock tonight. Of course, as we mentioned, turnout is expected to be light, so you definitely won't have to be standing in line today. Live in Atlanta, Rebecca Schramm, Atlanta News First.